Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you, this is like a jewel, look at this, look how beautiful. These are lanterns that you can make and actually use them. Let me get this paper out of the way, I just want you to see the paper that I use, but I'll show you better at the end, okay? But I just want you to focus on these beautiful lanterns, look at this. Just gorgeous, I, all I used was paper and some beads that I have. So this can be resized. I'll show you how to retrieve this file. It's a free file, SVG file. How to resize it, because you can make it as tiny as you want. And all you need is paper, some beads, this fishing, uh, fishing, what do you call it? Fishing net or a fishing wire, <laughs> not net, wire. You need some beads too, but let me show you the golden one. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? So as I said, you can use this as an ornament. You can make it smaller depending on the size of your tree. So all you need for this is paper. You're going to need some beads, whichever beads you, you have. Scissors. Clear fishing wire or ribbon if you're going to use ribbon. With this one I just used a golden ribbon. This one I didn't have anything uh, silver so I just used this fishing wire. But look at how beautiful these are. It just came out perfectly and they take no time at all with your skin and cut. So let's get to the video. I'll show you how to get this file and I'll put this together, okay? And here we are on Canvas Workspace. What we're going to do now is to download this SVG file and I'll show you where to find it. I'll have a link on my notes. You can just click on the link and it will take you to this website, gathered.how. So they have this uh, page here, how to make a paper lantern. But here's a tip for you. Don't click here because if you, it's one of those sites that you have to scroll down. So keep going after the video then you're going to keep going down and you're going to see here you see the paper lantern template here don't that's not the one you need this is actually i'm going to show you this is going to actually give you a pdf can you do it with pdf yes but it's so much more work it makes no sense you can print it and then scan it on, on your scanning cut and then do whatever save it on on your machine but there's no reason why you should do that. You can just go down here, paper lantern right here, SVG file, and that's what you want. So you're going to click on it, see? That's where it is. You're going to click with your right, uh, on your mouse, if you're using your mouse, right click it, and you're going to save as, you just, I don't know where you're going to do it. Let me just do it on my desktop, and it's there. How paper I'm just going to give it a name lantern on my desktop there you are so it's already there for you and what you're going to do is we're going to come here canvas workspace it's already open you're going to click on SVG right here import from your computer you click there and it's already here it's already if I click where I saved it paper lantern so you click on open, just find your file, and there it is. It's perfect, it's already a good size, but I'm going to show you how to resize it. So you, if you want to move it around, you can always click in the middle to move it around, makes it easier. As you can see, this one is pretty big because this is a 12 by 12 paper right here. If you want it smaller, just slide it like this, just place your mouse wherever you want but always on the corners not in the middle here because this is going to actually change the whole let me just show you what it does see it's going to affect how it's going to look because it it just kind of screws up the size when you want to change the size always do it by clicking here on the corners because it keeps the dimensions right so yeah so you if you want to see what size it is right now you can just go here on edit and it will show you the size see 645 to 7.4 
that's this uh, the, that this is the width right here 645 and that's the height so that's very easy it's an SVG file that you download from that site and I'm really very grateful that they have that it's for free so you can use it send it to your machine whichever year you do whichever way you do that let me just color this so you you see what it looks like that's what it looks like yeah it's always better when you add color so depending on the size that you want if you want to make a little tiny one you can just I'm going to try maybe making a smaller one no I'm gonna send this this size because I know it's a good size for a lantern and I'm sending this to my machine you click on file I export it through Wi-Fi but you can save it on one of those um, a portable what do you call those USB drives and you can just use it I don't whichever it depends on the machine that you have so mine I can just transfer by Wi-Fi I'm going to click here and it will say that the machine is ready to download so we're gonna go there and yeah I'll show you how to retrie retrieve the file okay and now here on scan and cut we're going to retrieve data because I sent it through Wi-Fi and we're going to say here's where it came from Wi-Fi but you can use USB if you want and there it is so next thing I have to do you can save and that's the good thing about it just save it in, in your machine so you can resize it and multiply and do whatever you need but for me it's fine the size is fine I just want to show you guys the paper that I'm using it's this gorgeous paper look at this this is all glittery I absolutely love this paper I will show I, I believe I showed you in the beginning so okay looks good to me please select I'm going to cut I already uploaded my paper by clicking here because this only shows if you have uploaded your paper and that's fine so let's just see it doing its magic there you go I will be back when this is done okay, and show you the results this the paper. I love I just love watching it. <laughs> okay so before I show you the results I just want to let you know which paper I used for this this is my favorite glitter paper I absolutely love it if you remember remember this one that's that's one of the lanterns that I showed you that is actually using this paper here it comes I think it has like 24 sheets with eight different designs so let me find this one yeah here it is there you go see that's the one I used and for the one that I'm doing today look at that oh it's beautiful so let's see what our lantern looks like There we go. Perfect. And now let's assemble it. So you look at that. Beautiful, beautifully cut. Oh my god, look at this paper. It's so glittery. Let me get this out of the way so that you see how glittery this is. So I'm going to just get the camera a little closer now because I need to show you how to assemble it and that needs a little bit more zoom there you go okay this should be good here okay so what you need for this is a few remember i showed you that i have a few um, beads so i have a few here let's put this together just go to your craft store and buy whatever your heart desires i'm using this fish wire fish and wire it's this one is 0.3 millimeters because I didn't have um, like on this one I I think it's lovely if you use something gold with gold but I don't have silver and it's anything silver so I'll just when I don't have anything else that really goes with the lantern just use this because it's transparent and it will go with anything 
So okay, I want this at the bottom. So what you need is you have to put a little tiny bead here to hold it together and I'm going to use this one. The way you do it is you just use you're going to always do this double, okay? Cut it long enough that you can just fold it and use double or every time because that's the only way you can do this. So you put one inside. Let me see how to show this. Yeah. So one will go inside and the other the other one won't. And that's what you end up with. See? So after you do that, then you can start using double, both of them going through the beads that you have. So what this does is it holds the bead at the end, see? And that's fine. So I think I'm going to use another big one here, maybe this, yeah. This one is beautiful. Guys, can you hear the rain? I've been waiting for this rain to stop and it just doesn't. So here is the bottom. You have a hole in all the edges here, all the petals. You're going to just put this through. like that and we have the end of our beautiful lantern and then guys just fold it in just put it through every single petal one on the top of the other like this so one this should stay on the back there you go one just go from this way here so we just gonna do this over and over again in every petal like that just put it through but you know if you have a colored ones I'll show you a red one that I did and if you have a ribbon that works too so here here's what it looks like so what you're gonna do now is just pull it well, let's see when you pull it then it you can press it down as much as you want it depends on how big you want these holes to be on the side I don't want it very big so as soon as you find a good size for you see it can be very close like this or you can just press it down a little more and it will open it depends on what you want okay so what I'm going to do now is just put, I have one, I think I'm going to put another one of these dark ones here. I don't know if it's big, big enough, but we'll see. And then I have a little bit bigger one. See? Looks pretty. But I want a big one. I want a big one to just give it a little bit more interest so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use maybe this let's see if that's good enough or I want a bigger one mm. I think that's good enough I want a del more delicate one and then you just when you give it a knot then you press it down to the size that the final size that you want the lantern to be okay so you can leave it like this or just press it down a little bit I like to press it down a little bit not much but a little bit so there you go you have your beautiful lantern and let me give you a last tip because sometimes it's hard to get these knots down to where you want here's what you do you just give it the knot give it a knot like this and the way that you get it to go down where you want to just use something like this it can, it can even be a needle if you have it you put it put it inside like that Hold it in place and then press it down. It will go down to where you want it to go. So let me just see how, okay, I think that's good enough. I don't want to press it down more than that. So the, oops, so that's one. I'm going to give another knot just to make sure. Do the same thing, you put it through and just press it down. There you go, you can put a little bit of glue, but basically, you have your beautiful 
lantern that's one we have another one here so have a gold one and the silver how gorgeous are these huh these are beautiful you can use it, them as ornament or you can even put it on the top of uh, maybe if you have like a gift box and you can just glue it on the top of a gift box that would be nice too there you go i hope you enjoy this video and just do as many as you can guys it's really easy it's not a problem at all it's nothing hard to do you have the spg file you know how to retrieve it thank you so much for being here again this is this has been a hard video guys i have to be honest i had all kinds of technical problems and then it started raining it was very noisy so it took me like all day to film it <laughs> anyway happy holidays to everyone okay have fun and enjoy your family and your friends and have a good time yeah.